Lucy, I'm home. Sorry, that was really bad, but the movie's really good. Hey everyone, this is David Stark from Watcher Pass. I'm here to talk to you about Being the Ricardos, which is coming to theaters on December 10th, 2021, and the Amazon Prime on December 21st, 2021. It's written and directed by Aaron Sorkin and has an all-star cast, including Nicole Kidman, who plays Lucille Ball, and Javier Bardem, who plays Desi Arnaz. They are fantastic. I mean, the whole film is fantastic, but they are kind of the main draws. And it's a very interesting film. It looks at the drama behind I Love Lucy and in the relationship between Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz and all the kind of turmoil and difficulty it took to get this show on TV. And some of the minutia that are shown, I thought was really interesting and very you know entertaining and insightful as well. So I'm going to talk to you a little about the film and a few things I liked about it. But the hot take is it's really good. You should definitely see it. It's a very different film than I expected. It's a lot, it has a lot more drama and a lot more uh, kind of behind the scenes than I was expecting, but it was really good. Uh, I actually didn't watch much I Love Lucy and I loved it. My wife has seen a ton of I Love Lucy and she loved it. So whether or not you are a fan of the show or have fond memories, you will still like this movie. So things I liked about this movie, the first is Nicole Kidman. She was transformational as Lucille Ball. She did such a great job. Character acted like her and her voice especially captured Lucille Ball perfectly. I, mean, I don't know a ton of Lucy, but Nicole Kidman's voice sounded very different and also you know, seemed to capture what I would remembered as the essence of Lucille Ball. And it's just really interesting to see her play this character who has such different personas. I mean, Lucille Ball, at least in this film, I don't, I assume this is fairly accurate, but at least in the film, she was a cunning business person and also a very deep thinker about the comedy of the show. Like she would pick apart scenes in her head and redo them over and over to make sure everything was exactly right because she wanted to make sure that the scenes were kind of perfect. But then Outside of her kind of Lucille Ball as a person character, she had the Lucy character. She was a very kinetically funny person. You know, she kind of got a lot of, of laughs from her expression and some of the things that she said and her kind of baby-ish voice that she would go, that she would use. And it was just a very different persona than kind of Lucille Ball, the person, the business person, the, the showrunner. And I love seeing these contrasts. And I love seeing Nicole Kidman kind of go back and forth because she would kind of change her persona completely when she was on versus when she was off and i imagine that's i imagine that's that that is something that she is used to because you know her acting persona is very i assume very different from her real life persona and so it was fascinating to see this on screen the second thing i love and this is related to kind of her character is the balance i mean this film had a nice balance of comedy and drama the the drama was a lot of personal drama relationship drama business drama and then the comedy was, you know, there to kind of lighten it up. There were little snippets here, little, little funny asides that were written in. I mean, it's a Sorkin film, so you're not going to get a ton of laugh out loud funny, but you're going to get some really witty aspects to the story and some really witty lines. It'll give some levity to the overall story. And I liked, I loved that balance. And then also there is a certain amount of humor just in ingrained in the Isle of Lucy show because there are scenes in the Isle of Lucy show that are recreated and that is some additional humor that will help fuel the story. It kind of helps keep the story a nice balance between serious and humor, and it just makes for an overly entertaining movie. And the last thing I really love is the style. I mean, this film has this kind of like Technicolor type of style, especially in some of the older flashback scenes. It has this actually nice, again, balance between some of the the more modern scenes you know modern in this film the the kind of present day scenes they're a little bit more muted the the colors aren't as bright the characters aren't wearing as bright of outfits and then often it'll flash back to earlier scenes in lucy and desi's life that do feel a little bit brighter like the the colors seem to be a little bit brighter they they're i don't know if they're overexposed or if they're just choosing to have a, a nicer nostalgic view, but those scenes tend to have a brighter look than the present scenes. And I think that that's twofold. The bull shows, you know, kind of that they're fondly looking back at those times when maybe they were happy. And then also it shows kind of the weight that all this time and business and energy that they've put in this show has taken on them personally. And so it shows, 
you know, both the, the, the burdens that they're carrying and also the fact that maybe some of the magic that was originally there is now faded. So I thought it was a very clever way to show that. And also it's, it's a subtle touch, but it is something that you notice. And, and it just makes this film, you know, it gives this film some extra layers that don't necessarily need to be pointed out. Uh, things that I didn't like about this film, really there was nothing. I thought it was a really well done film. I thought it was really good. It was entertaining. It had some very interesting insights and it told a story that I wasn't expecting to hear or enjoy and I loved everything about it. So that is Being the Ricardos. It's available in theaters on December 10th, 2021. If you don't want to go to theaters, it's coming to Amazon Prime on December 21st, 2021. Just see it either way. It's very good. It's definitely worth your time. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you. Thank you.